Hey guys, welcome to Web World Tech. In this particular video, we are going to talk about real-time user monitoring. We will see how you can understand the user's uh, experiences, understand their pain points, and try to work upon it uh, and solve them. Let's go ahead. We will see what is RUM. Uh, then we'll go ahead with some of the benefits which definitely you'll get uh, of using RUM and they are very, very important. You'll understand that by end of this discussion. The third one is some options in the industry which uh, are by, provided to you out of the box. You can just uh, use them in a free trial and kind of uh, get the default setup data out of it. Some of the sample use cases, there are plenty of them but we will discuss about a few of them. So let's start with what is RAM. RAM stands for real-time user monitoring. It is uh, real-time user monitoring is a technique that is used to track and collect data about user interaction and their experiences, which your site is giving when they are using them. So for example, your user, you have a site which is meant for a purchasing a product, doing a transaction for it, all that, right? But what kind of experience it is giving it to different type of users in different networks, uh, in a high-end phone to a low-end feature phone, what kind of uh, experience you are giving it to them? Are they happy about it? Is it breaking due to some third-party JavaScript or uh, by due to your own JavaScript, there is a latency? All those questions will be answered by your real-time user monitoring system. So in my opinion, it is one of the very important uh, system, but it is kind of very underrated in current situation. So why I'm saying this statement is because, for example, you are building an e-application, definitely by default in the architectural discussion or while executing this application, you will build a proper mechanism of uh, APM setup in, in that application, right? Why you want to understand your server should not go down, your application application latency should not be high, and all that. But at, on the other hand, we somehow uh, deprioritize this particular real time user monitoring system. The reason is, uh, ideally, it should not be. So basically, it is important, but it is takes a backseat, which should not be the case. This is very important from to understand your users' behavior because that keeps on changing based on a lot of factors and the kind of experience you are giving that uh, matters a lot and that will change the behavior whether users are happy to go ahead with your application, purchase the product which you are trying to sell. So as I said, this is very important in those kind of applications, I would say, which is directly facing to customers, which is B2C applications, your business to customers application. Let's go to benefits of using RAM. This is not the complete exhaustive list. This the, That is a huge, I would say, but all are revolving around somewhere these six things. So first one, real-time user issues detection. For example, if I am uh, using uh, a high-end phone in a very good network, definitely what will happen, my experience in that will be enhanced and I'll be happy, I will, I'll be delighted in using it, right? So there, it's good, but as soon as I switch to a normal normal phone or let's go down to a feature phone. So in those cases, what will happen? It kind of sometime due to uh, your uh, bundle size is heavy. It is kind of downloading uh, uh, with high with high time. So it, uh, download time is high or there is an issue in terms of timeout or uh, latency issues. Those things will, will not be visible directly, which your real time user monitoring system will and even you can add alerts on top of it, understanding that whether it is uh, the system is working fine for this user in which region wise, all those information you can collect, gather about and try to redefine your system accordingly. Maybe you can do adaptive uh, approach where based on the network detection, you can switch off some of the features and maybe play around with that. The next thing is page load times. This is again coming uh, to the part of specific focus to the performance, for example, in browser world, it is very important uh, that your EP, uh, your uh, application should perform as quickly, as fast as possible. The reason is like, if I would not be happy if I'm using a web application, which is taking five seconds or eight seconds just to show me a first screen, I'll definitely try to reload the page considering that there's something gone wrong, or I'll go back 
and try to use some other site which is doing the same uh, thing selling the same product and in in a in a bit with giving me a better experience altogether so page load time is very important and that is corresponding to different core web vitals in terms of browser industry uh, browser world and all those vitals which vital is performing in what manner your fid your lcp your uh, cumulative layout shift or your interaction to next paint your total block time time to interactive everything comes under one umbrella and that will be monitored and reported to you in real time by this uh, real-time user monitoring. The third important and very important part, I would say, is your JavaScript errors. This is so fragile that if suppose uh, you have uh, you have added a third party um, library, which is helping you to understand your users uh, behavior or users uh, like uh, for any different reason, I would say. So in that case, suppose there is a latency issues or there is a there is a break in that SDK. Or they, uh, there is a break is something is going wrong with that particular javascript bundle which has the potential to block uh, or kind of break the experience which you wanted to give to your users and it the worst case can be that he might not be able to uh, convert he might not be able to do the transaction with you to purchase your product uh, there can be uh, that situation in which case the, then the whole um, uh, purpose of having your application is not satisfied, right? User wanted to purchase, but he was not able to because of some XYZ reason. And the very sad part is you will not even get to know because this is happening on browser. It might would have thrown some console error, but you will not get to know about it. So in this case, also your best friend, real time user monitoring will collect that data, send it to you immediately. Now it's up to you, you to how to act upon it, collect it in over a day or fix it immediately but in the earlier situation without ram i think we were playing blind we don't know if something is happening wrong or not the other part is user behavior as i mentioned earlier uh different application it's not completely a behavior perspective but yeah uh, it will give you that understanding for example if you have an application as i mentioned earlier to purchase a product you're selling something and users are purchasing it in that case um you go to some tie to cities uh, where the coverage of the devices which is being majorly used is not that uh, latest high tech which is giving the maximum um, optimized performance and all that plus the networks are also very flaky in those cases uh, your users behavior will be completely different you will see multiple sessions being created multiple reloads are being uh, done you might think that the there can be definitely that users are not able to understand the flow or even if they are there might be certain different reasons where why they are reloading the page but there are many uh, situations they are reloading because they are not able to use it properly in that case again real time user monitoring will tell you that the same application which is working best in a good device in a good network might not work in a tier 2 city because of some xyz reason or same network issues or a low end phone feature phone anything as such so in that case basically we have to uh, kind of play around with it and smartly to, uh, with this data and understand what is bare minimum which you should give it to these kind of users and that too in a very light manner the last one here is getting the browser and the device data this is not something like a complete information this is just the metadata which is very beneficial for you uh, that is uh, that will help you in terms of understanding uh, like uh, what kind of devices your users are using majorly so that what kind of browsers your your users are using majorly uh, there are a lot of times we use nowadays different kind of libraries and all these libraries has its own issues so those things can be uh, understood properly if something is breaking in some different versions of other browser you, your uh, real-time user monitoring will tell that and you can actually go ahead and fix it and we have multiple instances like that different options which is available in industry i'll just call out a few of them but there are plenty there are plenty and all are good i would say it depends on what kind of use case you want to cover some is good in one one area some is good in some other uh, section so elastic stack is the first one i'm like highlighting it out I have used it personally and it has worked very well for, for me 
and uh, i would say this is so uh, uh, what to say uh, friendly in terms of or e easy uh, in terms of using it configuring it that you can play around you can create custom dashboards custom visualization with the data plus if they have a uh, initial by default set of standard information i would say which will definitely help you about the all the vitals performance your device details your uh, standard details the next is new relic it is very enhanced very quality product i like that also uh, it again gives the similar kind of information but in a different manner and very beautiful manner sentry is something which i have explored uh, uh, a little bit but initial my first impression is very positive on it you can go ahead and try it out now the interesting part sample use cases so i know uh, many of you would be thinking about that what which use case tell me exactly okay i'll tell you that so uh, use case wise uh, first use case would be i would say uh, there is a situation that uh, one of the a uh, feature major feature which you have given in your product purchase uh, purchase cycle that is not working well for only very certain uh, set of users you might think it's a user behavior maybe it, it, those areas or those uh, geo users are not interested about it but suddenly you got to know that uh, they are interested based on your offline visit or something but they are not able to use it just think about it how much time like it but they are not going to come and tell you users will never come and tell you that this is we want to use it but we are not able to they will go to some other competitor site and use it right so this information again if you had would have installed ram your ram would have told that this this is not working for them instead of that they are not uh, willing to use it the second instance i'll call it out is like um, uh you rolled out a new feature you had everything running well and uh, suddenly you got a case uh, uh, error reported to you when you try to debug you see you'll see that okay it's working fine for me there's no issue inside it so i'm not sure whether it's a user's problem or their network issues so you are you ideally Um, majority of the cases i have seen people drop that saying that it might be some corner case or something when you get that real time info user information uh, from the system you find find that out uh, in in a different way so basically what will happen is, what has happened earlier we have, which i have seen is that it's not that user behavior issue it is just that he was not able to use it again the reason is this is very specific to him. he was using a, a, a two versions older browser which did not has the polyfill support which we were using in in our application which i built uh, some time back and that was a good learning so then we realized okay yeah we should actually uh, have a good investment in real time user monitoring so these were the few cases guys so i think it's very useful and when you deep dive into it trust me you will not find uh, anything which is not important everything will be very important it will open a new world of vision to you that how to look the user's perspective so that's it guys so thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel happy learning